I came on live early tonight because I wanted to talk to you about what we have going on um, for the month of January 2023. And everything that we're doing uh, live on TikTok is going to go up on our forever on our YouTube channel. So you can always find it. So we really want to get creative with you. And uh, I'm Priscilla at the 1870 studio. And this is me. And um, I just wrote this out. I should have did a better job probably. But um, I just want to point out every single Sunday in January, I'm going to be making stained glass windows. I'm making a stained glass window a week for 2023. By the end of the year, I will have made 52 windows for our big old church we live in. Mystery Mondays, the first one was really popular. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun too. Um, oh, Sundays, let me let me say, um, stained glass Sundays are 11 a.m. And all of these are posted on our website too. So I hope you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. I hope you follow us on TikTok, Facebook, all those social medias. And our social media, we do kind of mix it all up too. So um, if you like us on one, you might like us on another. This is where we are tonight, Watercolor Wednesday. 5 p.m. and all of our things are Eastern Standard Time and then we have Fuse Glass Friday 6 p.m. Our kiln will be working. Uh, we moved our kiln today from one area to the next. I'm waiting on, Morton's taking out our garbage. Wednesday is not just watercolor. Wednesday it is trash night too so Morton's taking out the trash. Uh, he'll be joining us in just a second but please in January let's get together. Um, we're going to kick the year off creatively. And tonight, I'm going to go over real quick what we're using. Um, we're going to be using, this is, uh, what number are you? This is the number two. This is a liner brush. And this one, um, I don't have my glasses on. It's Pro Art. And this one, um, I should tell you what we're painting. We're painting cherry blossoms tonight. This one is great for doing long, long, thin strokes with. This one's beautiful. So we're gonna be using that one. We're also gonna be using this. It's a Sakura Jelly Roll. This is white. I love this little pen. Uh, and did you know cherry blossom uh, is, in Japanese, is Sakura? So it's Sakura, and we're painting cherry blossoms tonight. So we're gonna use that. Now I have two different round brushes here. Uh, one is a seven and one is a 10. You can see, and I'm gonna do, comment if you would like to see a tutorial about what all the different brushes do, do tell me. <laughs> I will make that for you, because a lot of people get confused. Do I need round, do I need flat, do I need, what do I need? So um, just comment if you would like to see a tutorial on that. Tonight, we really, I don't need both. Let's just choose one. Seven or a 10. Let's choose a seven. The seven's a pro art. Um, pro art's a good make. I can't read all of it, what it says. <laughs> I've, had the, I've had this one a long time. This one, the number 10, it's just a bit thicker. See that? See that? The the metal part is a bit thicker here. So um, um, this one, we'll use this one tonight. the The number ten is an American painter. I don't even know that brand. I don't know where I got this brush, but we're not going to use that tonight. I'll pop that back in there. Okay, so we have this one. Now I have this little guy. This little stubby stubby. <laughs> this one, this one's a little short and stubby. And this one is really um, tight. This is really tight. It's a number two. It's American Painter. And it's a shader. So I'm going to make two different kinds of um, cherry blossoms tonight. I'm going to paint a nice loose one. We're actually, if we have time, we're going to go through four different styles of cherry blossoms. So the shader we'll use when we're making our um, photorealistic looking cherry blossom. 
So, um, and Morton will be here to read the comments any moment. Morton will do our narration, and then we'll be able to get back <laughs> back to this. Now we're only going to use we're only going to use two colors tonight. We're going to use. Let me pull out. Mm -hmm. Let's pull out this one. Oh, I don't know if I can pull it out. It's gunked in there. Well, we're going to use this one. <laughs> This red, and I don't know the name of the red. We're gonna use the red. We might use a touch of that green, and we're gonna use this brown back here. So just one, two, three colors tonight. We're gonna use the red, green, brown. There is not gonna be any green on this painting, by the way. It's just gonna be red and brown that you're gonna see. But I'm gonna show you how to how to turn the how to turn the red into a shadow. Okay, without any further ado, we'll start our first one. We'll start it without Martin. Can someone tell me, is it eight o'clock yet? I mean, is it five o'clock yet? Five o'clock, five o'clock. One of my TikTok loves, can you tell me? Is it five o'clock here? Oh, I do know color theory. Yes, ma'am. 458, thank you, you're so wonderful. Okay. So I'll talk about how I'm gonna how I'm gonna prep these. Um, so the colors that I'm gonna use because my pans my pans dry out each each week. I let the lid open. Um, you can let the lid close. It'll help keep them wet. I don't know why. I just like to let them dry out. I like that. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna squirt into our red, just a little bit into the green a little bit and into this brown a little bit. That's all we're using. And I like to keep my water in a spray bottle. I like to keep clear water in a, clean water in a spray bottle so I don't dip my pen in there <laughs> because this water here is in um, a little bowl that I will dip my brush into. And I also typically keep a little um, jar this one has a little lid on it, so my water doesn't evaporate each week. <laughs> so I can pour into what I need. Okay, so, and make sure, please make sure you're following. If you're on YouTube, make sure you're subscribing. Comment, ask questions. I believe in sharing. I believe in sharing information. And um, I'll hold this up. If you want a screenshot, if you want a screenshot what our... Um, what our, what our times are, or you can also see this on our website. Okay, I hear Martin coming up. Martin just took out the trash. Okay, so here we go now. <laughs> um, let's, let's get started. Now we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our color of red that we're using. Now, I know what you're thinking that, um, Cherry blossoms are pink, and you are right. I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna pull a little bit of the red up here. Just a little bit of it. I don't typically use a palette. I use the edge of my paint box. This could be right, this could be wrong. Doesn't matter. And we're gonna start by doing a big one. So a cherry blossom has three leaves, or I'm sorry, five leaves. Five leaves, and I'm gonna show you a couple different perspectives. So this is a full on looking at it from the front. This is that kind of perspective. Now, it's way too pink, <laughs> in my opinion. But I can live with that, but it's, I got way too much water on it. This brush is not the brush to go with. A smaller one, that one holds a lot. I'll have to switch to a smaller round when I do the little ones. What are you, you're an eight, what are you? You're a seven, you're even bigger. Okay, we'll keep using this, this one. I'm gonna take some of the water off. If you ever feel like you get too much water on, dab it off. And I usually press, I like to press other paper in there, but not tonight. So I'm gonna take now, this is nice and wet. 
and then pull everything down to the center. I want to come down to the center. I want this to be nice and clear. Pull everything right to the center. And that's what I'm looking for. See how the, the color pulls down here to the bottom? That's what I'm looking for. Hello, honey. Yep. Hello, honey. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Are you reading comments and can't talk now? Yeah, I was reading some. Uh, Minnesota's got a foot of snow. Uh, Madeline's saying, tap, tap, tap. Uh, nice. Send something to Kentucky. Keep the <laughs> snow, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Joanne followed the host. Uh, Summer says hello. Yeah, it's calm and soothe voices, Rora. Uh, do you know colour theory they're asking? I'm a makeup artist and have to know it. Yep, yep. They, so that was a well, question. I've already answered that one. All right. Okay, that's a front view. The side view, we're going to take and make a little oval this away. Back here, out, out, <clears throat> kind of like bunny ears. One, two, three, four. Five. This side of you from the front. And I'll also put a couple little buds here. Yeah, your video goes up on YouTube forever, doesn't it? Uh huh. Yep. It'll be on yeah, YouTube. You'll see it forever. later on YouTube. And uh, Anita is saying, don't worry about online bullies. Your TikTok family will take it up for you. <laughs> hey, hello there, Kathy. I just, I'm always. I don't know why I'm so shocked. I used to be real shocked. Now I'm not real shocked, but I don't like when somebody says something mean. We're here for good. No play, no time for hating. Too busy creating. How about you? <laughs> okay, so I'm pulling in, and you can see here how the how this is looking now. Right now, I like to take pure red, a little bit of that pure pure red. Just sort of touch it right around the bottom. A couple little, couple little dibble dabs. Sparkles saying they'd be devastated if you left. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so this one, we're looking at it from the front, so I'm going to just do it teeny tiny there. And these, just a little bit at the base. So this is our this is our first one. This is our simple cherry blossom design right here. Touch it a little bit. You see how it bleeds in? Hopefully you can see that. Because you want the center. You want the center. Lena Woman when saying Thanks for the instructions. Your voice is soothing and calming. Oh, you're welcome. Silver Lily's here. Uh, Kathy's saying no one should be mean. This is your live page. They don't like it. They can leave. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, so this this one is our <clears throat> simples. We're not going to do shadings on this one. Uh, and we're going to let these dry while I'm painting in the stems. Now, if you've ever seen a cherry blossom tree, hopefully you have, because they're stunning. They, um, they, they're just amazing. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Honey, this spring, let's go to Sakura Sunday down in Philadelphia, okay? Uh, that's the one that Bonbon bon won the prize. Yes, Bonbon bon won a prize there. Let's go there this year. Sakura Sunday is amazing. So this, this nice skinny long one, I love it. And I'm going to put a little nodule here and there. Hi there and thanks for sharing. Just purple. so it doesn't look like just a line, right? Just put a little nodule there. Make it a little thicker towards the bottom. Put in some detail. I was wondering what that was there. I was out doing the trash. You've got what you do during the week. What's that? Your note there as to what you're oh, doing yes. during the week. Yep. We talked about that. So here I'm going to take I'm going to do this one the same. Just pull down 
a, a message saying it broke my heart to see your video about trolls. Oh. So happy you power through with such grace. Of course. I. This is what... So this is how I feel about trolls. I think they're... I feel sad for them, actually. <laughs> I really, really do. And I think some people are genuinely concerned. And because they're on here, they just have no filter. And, um, yeah... What I, what I don't like is somebody that maybe is younger or super sensitive, which I am super sensitive, but stuff like that doesn't bother me. I mean, come on. I'm always excited, aren't I, honey? Mm -hmm. Everything excites me. <clears throat> I can't help it. I can't help how I am. And here, when you're doing this, you can really have fun and put in character here. You can put in other lines, but you see see how beautiful this line does. Oh, I love this one. Hi, Christine. So we're gonna put we're gonna drop this one in right back here behind here. The other thing you've got to consider too is you never know what kind of day somebody's been having. Yeah. It was last like last week when I was jumping up and doing it. The furnace guy, you don't know what he, <laughs> you don't know if his boss had given him a row because he had to come back it. out, That's but he didn't it. need to take it out on me, you know. <laughs> Honey. So I'm going to make a little shoot come up here. And I like to um, put on some of my little bits after um, after I paint in my big blossoms. I like to do that because um, if you've ever seen cherry blossom tree, they just go on and on. They're so prolific with their blossoms, aren't they? Oh, well, that's nice. Already so pretty, says Robin Lynn and Firefly, saying mm -hmm. I got a miniature watercolour set for Christmas. Hooray, I hope They're you're really painting good fun. with me. Hope you're painting with me. Okay, so I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep this one kind of simple because I want to get on and show you how to do a little bit more photorealism. I used to really get into photorealism, didn't I, honey? Mm -hmm. That was horrible. That's how you... <laughs> Like, I can deal with haters. I've done photorealism paintings. Um, they take you forever. Yeah. Hi, Lenny. They, um, yeah. We're not going to go down that road. I don't do that anymore. Okay, so here where I have my little, where my little lines have gone, I'm going to just go over this with just a dab of water. Just a little dab of water over. Because the one thing about cherry blossoms is they're just so, oh, there's so many of them. Yeah, they make some mess when they drop them. Oh, they're gorgeous. It's like I snow in have... Where was it? We were. It was like it you're was driving snowing. down the street and it, it was, was like beautiful. snow and cherry blossoms. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. So get your, this is my little tip for you. Get your main ones in, right? Get your main ones in. And then come up and do your little, look, your little touches in here. We're going to make this part a little bit thicker where it joins Although along. the only thing I never understand with them is they always plant the ornamental cherries. It's like, yes. it'd be far better if they planted the ones well, you can score. that's scoff. because these ornamental ones, like, that's what this one is probably. They have so many little, they get so many blooms. It's quite funny here. We get a few cherry trees out the side in the woods. And you've almost got to fight the squirrels off or you don't get any cherries at all. The birds, babe. Yeah, the, the squirrels birds. as well. They're, they're straight. The yeah. birds really get them. Yeah. Okay, so you see, I'm just, I'm not mixing any colors here. This is brown. But I am putting, we need lots of cherry blossoms. <laughs> And this is our nice, simple one. These are really pretty to put on a note card. Honey, you know why I picked cherry blossoms tonight? Why? Because January is President's Month, right? Right. And you know George Washington, cherry tree, chop, right. chop. <laughs> Apparently okay. they say that wasn't it true, but whether it's true or not, I don't know. It was PR from the olden days. Okay, so here I'm going to go back into my water, get a little bit more of my red. And then just here, I'm just going to touch. I'm going to make that 
a little bit, a little bit bigger. That one's ready to start blooming. That's what's crazy talking about blooms and buds. It's like you've got buds on oh, your uh, yeah. lilac bushes outside because of the mild I weather. I know it, I know it. You just hope they don't come out because they're going to get frost next. It's supposed to get an inch some of snow them, on Friday. Some of them leave single, some of them maybe put two. But this is our nice simple one. You can you could make a lovely card for somebody. So easy with this. You see how easy it is? Look, that's one one touch. Does it? That one looks like a Valentine. <laughs> I'm gonna put another one there. And if you want your paint to pool or puddle the right way, um, just kind of pull it towards there. Looky. Spiritual soul saying no. sent you an interest in recipes, let you know what you think. Okay, depending on how you sent it. <laughs> if you send it on my email, I'll get it. On here, my messages on here are super weird. They're so weird. These are these the buds are a little bit crazy here for me. On here message it says. Yeah. Uh, may, hopefully I'll get it. Hopefully I'll get it. Now here, I'm just going to go around and just kind of on one, one little leaf. Pull in. Pull in. I need that one to really go over there so you can see it. Pull in. That one got a little bit messy. Does not matter. Okay, these are our nice simple ones. Now, to finish these up, because you need to put something in the center, um, when the center is dry. You make it look easy, though, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. When the center is dry, I'm clean out this long, skinny brush. Actually, I shouldn't even do that. We're going to do this. We're going to use our little, use our little gel pen. When it's dry, come in here and put make them go all sorts of different ways. I'm only going to do it on that one because it's not dry. Is there a huge difference things. between paint and watercolors to acrylics? Result? Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to do acrylics one. I'm going to pick a day out for acrylics because I like to do acrylic paint. Are too. acrylics similar to oil? Mm -mm. Like oil, oil stays wet for ages. Right. Oh, I'm putting, I'm putting, no, these, this is wrong. These get yellow on them. <laughs> they get yellow on them. Their little dots are white. Their stems are white. The little dots are yellow. So ignore this one. <laughs> We're keeping this one super simple. This one's a super simple cherry. Super simple cherry blossom. That's what this is. Okay, we're going to set this one back here. Set that one back there. It's really Hi, pretty. Bandy. Very, very pretty. I just got to make sure this we have some running here before I set it up I'm gonna dab it just a little bit that's nice it takes away the harsh red yeah they're saying it doesn't look like watercolor it's so saturated not runny but that's all down to whether you wash the paper isn't yes it? yes if you put a paper wash down it'll go runny but if you use it on the dry paper it stays uh, where you want it to be. Hopefully you can see the reflection that happens there. A yeah. little bit of it's still wet. It, does, it looks like a poster and uh, <laughs> Randy's would, saying they want that cherry blossom. <laughs> it would make, uh, that would make a Is really that on the site under card art, Priscilla? That, no, it's not under card art. Babe, you got to start looking at her site. Right, I, I keep forgetting what they are. What would that be under if it's, somebody it's, wanted there's, it? There's a thing on there for watercolors. There's watercolor. If yes. you go and message. But wait till we're done because yeah, I'm, till... I'm doing a lot of these. All I'm right, doing okay. a lot of different ones tonight. Right. Okay, so that that is um, that's an easy, easy one. Now, I want to show you detail. We're going to make a bigger one here. We're gonna make a bigger one so you can see the detail to make it look more photorealistic. So we're gonna come back with our brush, just make it wet. And I'm gonna paint a nice big, it's almost white right there. You can almost not see it. I'm gonna make a nice big one, two. There's a 
quite a few three. new people in, but it's all you might want to explain what you're doing. Hello, everybody. It's Watercolor Wednesday, and I'm Priscilla. And the guy talking with great accent is Morton, my husband, and we are doing watercolor paints. Okay, now I this one is way bigger than cherry blossom is, and I'm doing it to show you how we're going to put in the colors, how we're going to put in some shadows to make it look more real. So while this is wet, while I've just made it um, made it wet, I'm just going to dry the center a little bit. And now we're going to take... Somebody loves your shirt. I'm not sure how you're seeing it. <laughs> I got pajamas on. Oh, I've been in, it? My, it's the I've been in stuff, my pajamas all day. <laughs> Have a night, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll, all, I'll keep, all week. <laughs> I've been wearing pajamas for a while. Clean pajamas, but pajamas. Okay, now I'm going to come in here and grab some of the pure red. And I forget, this might be permanent rose, but I truthfully don't know. A Monday, she's doing a surprise thing. It's on that Extreme card Mondays. at the back, if yep. you can read it. Monday, there's... This is our schedule. You can screenshot it. Take a screenshot of that. Yeah, Becca was saying and they're on, new to the page on, and all the other the, things um, you do. It's on the it it's is on Cardinals website, on the PGs, too. isn't it? Yeah. And it's on if you go to the link in the bio, there's the studio the eighteen seventy studio page and it'll be on that. You can join our blog and a uh, also an email list to find out all things, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now I just put the dots in here. I'm just going to kind of pull in to give us a nice center. Because you know the cherry blossoms are more pink to the center. Got a little bit too much water on there. It's a little napkin. Well, For anyone that's new too, there's all the much. different arts and crafts that Priscilla makes is on the studio for you. To see and purchase and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to make over here, I'm going to show you how to make some of the little bits. The little bits, just think about it like a little oval with a little point, and but pull your paint down to here. See how it puddles down to the bottom? I'm going to put three little blooms on this one. One, two, three. Now we're going to come around again. But we're not going to paint the whole thing. We're going to leave some, um, leave some paler. But we will put, we'll leave some of that color in there for shadow. And this is an up close, this is an up close cherry blossom. I'm going to show you how to shadow. So in here, any lines or whatnot, soften it up. Look, dab it, dab, 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 dab. Here, you might wanna take a little bit of red right to the bottom, just a bit right to the bottom. You gotta do this before it dries. When it dries, when it dries, you can just take a little bit of water and dab with it. But once it dries, it won't go anywhere. We're gonna dab that up a little bit there. Dab that up a little bit here. And the same down here. Maybe put a little bit of a little bit of a petal curve on here. Go and come up here. But we really want to focus on this center here. So we're gonna right tighten the center now. A weird noise. Yeah, there's no food on the bar of this no, chair. No, no, listen. Oh, it's that. It's our lights up there. You know how they spin around? Oh, yeah. For the lights on the ceiling. That's what it is. It's that motor. It's quiet in here tonight, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of it being so warm outside, the blower's so not running for the heat. I'm going to make a little, a little bit of a circle here. But then with this, I'm going to come in... And I'm just going to take, and I'm going to put some light little, light little vein feels out. Make them go the, the shape of the petal, right? 
and come back in on them. Don't make them just look like little lines. Just come back in on them. I'm painting them out again. I got wild on there. I can fix it. Because we want to paint some shapes. Again, a little bit more. Make it wet. A little bit of that. And I should really be using a skinnier brush for this. But I like to show you um, painting with just one brush. What is that one? This is a round and it's a number seven. Lucky number seven. What is it with brushes? Is it the bigger the number the flat or the other the uh -uh. opposite? Opposite. Okay. Thanks, Madeline. I want that to sort of just come down. Okay. All right. All right. We got to let that dry. And I'm going to just lightly, lightly dab a little bit off. Okay. We're going to come in with our brown. And the brown, I like to load this brush up. That numbers up. Pull it over. This is a um, number two, and um, this one is it's it's a line brush. It's a nice, nice thin line brush. Oh, that's good, Janet. So you're going to get out of supplies and paint with you the next time. Excellent. Yeah, it was good the other night when she was doing the decorated jars and things. We had several people were making yes. them along with us. So to make things look more realistic, this is what you have to do. <clears throat> Hi Zoe. Paint on the thickness here, where the little branch would come out. Paint on the thickness up here. Paint on here. Now I'm gonna rinse this. I'm gonna rinse this. Oh, that's nice. Angie, Angie's actually painting with you. Excellent. Now we're gonna go back in our red. Go back in our red because here we're going to have a cluster coming out. Okay, seeing they love the jars and the hearts with the lights. We're going to have a cluster coming out of more cherry blossoms and they're going to be red. These Thanks ones, for the lights, everyone. These ones aren't even showing their pink yet. And if you've ever looked at cherry blossoms, this happens, and it's so cool. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit more red down here, and I'm going to come right down to the bottom, and I'm going to wrap this up sort of like it's holding it. You know how the bottom of the rose has the green part on it? The bottom of a cherry blossom, before it blooms, it's red. It's really red. Reddish pink. Okay. And I should have switched to my rounder brush, but I kind of like this fine point one. I'm going to bud this out, bud it out. And I don't want to make harsh things. I don't want to make it all one shape. Oh, that's what I wanted. Do you see how that brown just bled up there for us? That's what you want. Just take water. See if I, yep, coax that up. That's going to give you some cool, cool, cool shadows. She's always learning from you, but she's doing her diamond painting at the moment. Oh, nice. Christy okay. says it looks pretty. Okay, so up here <clears> on <throat> the ends of these, the ends of these, they just get little circles. These aren't, these aren't ready yet. These are just little circles still. They're going to burst into a bloom, just not today. Not anytime soon. And these, if I was doing these to size, um, they look, they get super realistic when you do them to size. This is an exaggerated one. Make that part bigger. 
And here, there's usually like a little hump here where they come out. Do you paint from memory of being asked? Yeah, this is from memory right here. I don't have a reference photo. I hardly ever use a reference photo. But Morton, tell them how many photographs I take whenever we buy plants. <laughs> Too many. I've got to drag it away. I take so many photographs and then I look at them. I love looking at photographs of flowers. Um, so yeah. These would have been cherry blossoms that I saw somewhere. And these ones, they aren't always exactly straight. Give them a little twist, but right here, look, I want to coax that into being a little, it's like a little nodule that they come off on. They might be off of the paper, those ones. I'm not going to paint those on. I am going to come down beside that. Just give it a little bit of that. Okay. This is the that way with birds. We have an obsession with painting birds. Oh, I love painting birds too. Okay, so here, I don't know how, but I got paint up there. Yeah, I think it was, was it DC you were saying that festivals and you want to go to? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, there. Sakura Sunday, it's in April. Let's meet up there. Let's, mm -hmm. we'll put it on TikTok. Summer August is saying they get a lot of them in DC. Let's go. I took your parents to DC to see them yeah. before I remember. You were working, babe. Okay, so the, this one, I'm going to get this part painted on here. And that's kind of all my blooms that I want to paint on. But I want to show you how to, how to get the details up on here. Hi, Bobby. I'm going to bring that down here and make that a little bit. Okay, now let's come in on this one. This one, this one, at the yep. center. You must be doing something right, Priscilla. Bobby recognized them straight away. <sighs> Hi, Bobby. Great. I'm going to take some green. And he says, hello, P. Hey, Bobby. I'm going to take some green. Bobby, do you go to Sakura Sunday down in Philadelphia? I just took some green here, and I'm going to use that as my shadow. Green and pink for my shadow. Thanks for all the likes, you're up at 5,000 now, Priscilla, wow. it goes sometimes. Morton and I are going to go this year. Morton's never been. The shadow is just going to give it some definition. It's going to separate the petals. And you see how we're not painting, not painting a gray. Just touch that green. And the green into it. It's half an hour from fully. Oh, we should definitely meet up there, Bobby. Okay, so the shadow, I like to use the shadow too to just sort of put some little petal feels in. But remember, kind of wisp it out, but kind of curve it to match the petal. I can soften those up. I'm using this long thin, thin line for that too. We don't want to go painting gray on there. We wouldn't have our, okay. We wouldn't have our, our nice little cherry blossom anymore. Now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to thicken this up because that branch is too thin. Both pieces gorgeous the same. Just going to thicken that gorgeous. up. I'm going to thicken this bit up. Thicken that up, and I might put a little, another couple little nodules here and there, because that's how the blossoms grow, with these little nodules. Now, you'll notice, like, I did not put a background on here. You don't really need to. Now, on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Make sure my center is nice and dry. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna just, I need, I need darker pink right at the center. The darker color right at the center.
We met online at the beginning of 2001, wasn't it, Priscilla? Uh, yep, February 2001. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of paint in what's going to become the the very, like, the throat of the flower, the very center of the flower. What's that part called, called honey? The, uh, the stamens, the male bit, and the... I don't remember what the female bit is called. And I'm just going to soften it down a little bit. And I have some harsh lines there. <laughs> don't want any harsh lines. I'm going to paint them out. I'm just going to kind of smooth over my everythings now that I've just done. Okay. All right. We got to let this one dry. This one has to dry completely before we go back in and put it in the detail. Oh, the other thing I need to do here, I need to take... And I need to pull out some of this color all the way down here and there. I need to do that. And then we'll let it dry. See, I've let it dry mostly. And now pulling that up and over. So you get that, that nice next layer. Next layer color in. That's what we're at. Oh, that one came out good. I'm gonna do that again. Hi, Kiwi. I'm gonna do that again. Little, got a little hair from my paintbrush. Yeah, that's what Priscilla likes for you to relax and watch what she's up to. Yeah, it's just, yep. Yeah, you can paint along or you can just sit back and watch, watch what happens. Yeah, I'm not in the picture. I'm standing at the back reading the comments. <laughs> round that up a bit. They're not pointy. Right now you can make some nice adjustments now. That one was a little bit too pointy for me. Thanks Madeline. She's encouraging Welcome people around. to give you likes. You're up at 6,000 oh something. Oh my gosh. Thank 6, you. 6,400. So I'm going to round this one out too down here. I need to add a touch more water. Any harsh line you want to get rid of. Now's the time to do it. Okay, so this one's going to sit like this to dry. Now I'm going to show you, honey, what time is it? You got to um, look on your. It's 5.34. Oh, we are in great shape. We are in great shape. Now, I've been showing you. Paint first, put the put the stem in there later, right? That's what we've been up to now. Uh, but now I'm going to show you, let's put our stem in first. And you're going to see why this thing is so cool like this. Got to get someplace good to see. That'll set. be fun on Fridays, always teaching watercolors to teens. Oh, that will be fun. You're going to be, you're going to be surprised. Okay, so this one, I'm going to make this one like a motif. So I'm going to use this little circle here that, that we use for our world. And I'm going to take, and I'm just going to paint around here. Just paint around the edge. Can you make a purple edge. morning glory of being us? Yep. We're doing cherry blossoms tonight. Yes, I can. Morning glories are fun to do. Okay, so this one now, I'm going to take and I'm going to trace around and kind of where I feel things here and there, I'm going to, I'm going to come off with some little things. You'll see water and you got to work quick because this will dry. You can turn these into letters. These are, these are beautiful for cards too. 
You could turn it into the shape of a valentine. Anything. This is another technique I want to show you. So we're going to put our stems in first. And we're going to make, let's make one, two, well, right there is one. We'll have three going in. While listening to classical music. That must oh, even nice. have been the watercolors. Excellent. Okay, so now the dark, dark line, or the, the line that's not so light, I'm going to come in and put a dark line right beside it. Add a touch of water. Here we might put one, right here we might put one. Might put another one coming up here. When the seahorse says beautiful flowers. Okay, so now, I guess we're doing this one in reverse. I'm gonna make my little part thicker. Thanks for following. Thicker where it comes on at. And I just did the circle just to show you how you can how you can do the shape. And cherry blossoms just sort of keep going. Honey, you know what I'm in the mood for? What? I'm in the mood to go to Longwood Gardens. Mm. I really am. I think it would be good for my soul to go walking through the greenhouses right now. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe it'd be too warm in the greenhouses now. No, it wouldn't be too warm. Okay. You make it look easy for staying a girl. <laughs> uh, love how sweet you guys are together. Oh. We might not be perfect, but we're perfect for each other, I think. And I'm going to have to decide, like, what I want where. But sometimes when you do it like this, it's more fun, I think, than when you paint it the other way. But you can watch both ways and try it both ways. And see how I'm just sort of retracing... Thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top. That's how they're going to come out. And I like to use the brown rather than a black or gray because the wood is brown on a cherry tree. And see, this I think I pay more. When I do it this way, I definitely give my branches more focus and my blooms, definitely. Make thick little buds here and there, or little, little nodules, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna come in on this guy one more time, and then we're ready. Thanks for the roses. Oh, roses. Linda sent rose and purple sent rose. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I think we're ready to add the pink. Oh, I made him a little thick. No, you're nearly at 10,000 likes now. Wowza. That is There's always awesome. saying Bob Ross has a woman. Mm -hmm. I'll hate to go and grab one of the squirrels. <laughs> Ice cream cones oh. as well now. Oh, if I only had a little squirrel in here. You should see them going mad on the bird feeders. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let it like that because you can always add more. And remember this one, we painted the blossoms first, then put the sticks in. Cloud bread. Let's Thank do you. this. Okay. You, you, they must think you're hungry. you got ice cream cone, cloud <laughs> bread, roses. Okay, so here I'm going to take this little, our little muted red. This is just red that's watered down. Oh, to over 10,000 likes now. Oh my Thank goodness. you. And I'm just going to start.
by putting in some of these. Just by putting in some of these. There are little buds. This might be a whole one right here. Might be a whole one. One, two, three, four, five. So you saw how I did that. Now look, I'll pull all that color right to the middle. So does anybody know the trick to loves me, loves me not? <laughs> she loves me, she loves me not. Loves me, loves me not. It's actually a loves scientific me. fact that flowers have got an odd number of petals. All so of if you start it on the loves me, it should always end on loves me. Wait, are you sure all of them? Because yep. I I thought little lilac leaf, little No, I'm lilacs. fairly sure all flowers. That's why when you pull a flower and you do loves me, loves me not. Honey, you got to look it, it up on end. your phone. Because I thought the little center of a lilac, I'm pretty sure they just have four leaves. I could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong. And this, this color is super intense. I'm going to take some of it off. But I'm going to, I'm going to use water for that. One, two, three, four, five. I think lilacs have four. It does say four. So you'd yeah. be messed up with that one. Yeah. I should have uh, made a little sidebar bet with you on that. I've painted too many lilacs, I know. Four little leaves. Yep, lilac messes you up, so I'm going to do it with lilacs. <laughs> lilacs, I love. See, that one only has three because we're looking at it from the side. Okay, and see here how we Even. have we have the real intense. It says six on a level, but technically three. Yeah, and then you have things like your zinnias. You couldn't even count how many there are on there. So this one, we're kind of making it all different, all different um, shapes. We're getting creative with this one. This one is our splotchy one. A little splotchy. And now I'm gonna take the center. See how this is like a real intense. Bring that over here. Honey, I'm getting ready to make cherry blossom branches for on right. the for on the uh, forest. I love that one. Okay. Now these. So it says, empirically speaking, this means that more often than not, flowers have an odd number of petals. Yes. In fact, if you survey a wide range of flowers, you'll find that not only do the majority have an odd number of petals, but that certain numbers tend to come up more often than others, like five and 15. Yes. So if you do it with the wrong flower, loves me, <laughs> loves me not, doesn't it work? Doesn't work. Oops. What was that? Oh, oh lump hand shoe. me that. I've almost forgot about that. Okay, so now you can see on this one, you see on this one, we'll come back in and we'll just do little dots in the center. This one is so just. This one is just super. Do you want it? Just hold on to it for one second. This one is just super free form, super light form. See that? Just little bits here and there. Catch this. Hold on, honey. Okay. All right. So 
you can have your style where you do, I could have turned that into a P, I could have turned it into an M. You have this style, which is also loose. That style's all the way dry. That one's not yeah, quite dry. Passion yet. foils are amazing. They are. And then this one, that one's dry enough now. Hold that, honey. Okay. So, we'll set that one up there. Okay, so this, to make this look super realistic, we're going to take white. Loads of white. Yeah, snap dragons are amazing. Oh, we love snap dragons. <clears throat> we get the wild can, ones here, the little yellow use, ones. You can use white paint or you can use your jelly roll. Now I'm going to take yellow because these all have. We go with that brighter yellow. We need to mix it with some chain white. Nope. These ones all have the little yellow stamens on them, little tips and ends. And you can even put them, they don't have to just be on the end of, can you see that? Hopefully uh, you can see that. the shade here, I can't, but they might be able to see it because like when you draw up, the I picture think you goes can darker. See it. Now I could come in around and put more details and stuff on there, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> because I forgot about this. So when you watercolor paint, you can also paint on things like this. Now to paint, I'm gonna put this in, um, I'm gonna put this in the forest, in the forest. So this I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna make some cherry blossoms. What's the top? What, honey? How do you know what the top is on that? My finger's on the top. All right. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just do some around. Super, what time are we at, babe? Mm, don't know. 548. 548, okay. I'll paint fast. And this one's gonna be this one's gonna be more of a loose style. We just want people to be able to look and say, oh my gosh, it's cherry blossoms. And I'll show you how to do that. Thanks, Jamie Lee. It's watercolor season. The what's the name again? Van Gogh watercolor. Yeah, these are Van Gogh watercolors. So I'm gonna try to make these. These are still bigger than the cherry blossom. Cherry blossom's a little delicate thing. But I'll show you the trick for really, the trick for really making these into cherry blossoms are gonna be your stems. Not so much your pink flowers, but your stems. So get your long, thin liner brush and connect. start doing this, it turns into a cherry blossom. Can you see it already? Get a little more water on there. Keep it fluid. No, we never saw. Did you see it? Where, what was the expression you went to see with Maggie? It wasn't Van Gogh, was it? I went to the Museum of Modern Art yeah. with her. So Janet's asking, did you see the Van Gogh traveling exhibit? Oh no, I didn't. Because what are you saying loves those? We've been to the Van Gogh Museum. Yeah, and in Holland itself. But well, no, that was was it Holland or was it? Oh, it's Amsterdam, honey. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so here, just gonna pull out a couple because I don't have time to do the whole whole thing. I want a couple. Oops. That little loop grabbed my grabbed my sleeve. Oh, this makes me feel very springy. And if anybody that's on that doesn't know, 
if you want to watch this again, if you've just joined in, is uh, it's going to be on the YouTube channel. Yes. And uh, you can watch the whole video and see how she does the picture from square one. And then you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for free. And uh, you can get, I think you get subscriptions to whenever you're putting stuff up there. Yeah, they said that the notifications there are really good. I've had people tell me. Hi, Lainey. I'm just going to put a couple more branches out. To put a couple more pink spots on. And this, so, is, this is just one of those, like, pull together paper. Yeah, uh, just a paper shade. Paper shade that you get. I think you get them at any sort of craft mm -hmm. shop, don't you? Do. you? So this one, this one is more pinky. Because I want people to really see that it's cherry blossoms. It's going to be in the forest. We're not putting on loads of detail, but I think it's looking gorgeous. What do you think, Morton? Mm -hmm, it's looking good. But you do have to be mindful of runs, because <laughs> that one got a little bit wild there, but it's okay. I'm going to tap that. You've also got to be careful not to make it too wet or you'll poke your brush straight through. Yeah. Look how it's looking with that light on. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Alrighty, so that, what time are we at? Does anybody have any questions about anything? 5.52. Um, I want to talk to you about brush care too, real quick. When I'm done painting, I've showed you before how I don't clean my brushes, um, but let me show you how to clean them. <laughs> you want to really um, don't pull them. This, this will come out of the end. If you pull this too hard, this will, they, they will come out. So you want to give it a, I give it a squeeze and then I just back and forward a little bit and always, always, always store your brush like this only when it's dry. Only when it's dry. If it's wet, I lay it on its side. This is dry. It's not a real big brush. So then I can stand it upside, up, up like this. This is how I store it. Don't ever store them like that. Don't ever let them sit in a jar like that with water in them. My, I have brushes that are, I have brushes that are 40 years old. And um, um, this, this sort of a liner, liner one, I will, um, kind of twirl it around on the metal part. I for, What's that part call, called? I forget. I don't know, for you, mommy. That's it. But I don't, um, don't pull. I've seen people pull their brushes, like pull them. You're going to rip these out. <laughs> they are not in there forever. So we're all saying they did the first two paintings of you. They look sad, but we're watching YouTube oh. to try again. <laughs> hey, guess, guess what? You practice, practice, practice. So don't pull them, just squeeze, squeeze your little fellows. And you don't want to split these up either, because like I've seen people go in and, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Keep them together, keep it nice and smooth. And when it's wet is the time to do that. And hold here, hold here on the brush. And you see how I can pull it out so nice and straight. And I'm not putting any stress back here, because they glue these and then they squeeze these around, but they will wear out. And um, like I said, you know, brushes are expensive. You want to keep them. Take your water out. Watercolor rinses out so easy. It rinses out nice and easy. Do you buy certain brushes that are expensive better, like natural hair brushes? Um, ex more expensive. Well, there's some great synthetics now. Like this is pure sable, this brush, a pro art. But, um, what I, and this is this is one of my old brushes. I can see here on it acrylic paint. I didn't quite clean off. And look there, I can do it. <laughs> That's from paintings long ago. I And there's some oil paint on there too. I am super, super bad for using um, something that should be a watercolor brush. I use it on everything. And that's not a good idea to do. I do it. So. Uh, it's sable, horse hair, and camel hair they tend to use for a natural. Squirrel. Yeah. 
But um, the modern acrylics were tending to get better and better. Yeah, I know acrylic the synthetics, synthetics. They were getting better. So what I like to do while it's damp, I like to put it in its shape. Right, look, just pull it right up. And I'm not trying to rip these here, though. Um, I will show you one here that I did not put away. <laughs> I didn't clean it to put it away. This is a wash brush. I don't even know why I had that color on there. But every once in a while, oh, the other thing before you start painting, I like to go through my brush and just sort of go like this. It's sort of like brushing your hair. Right? That's, that's true what Miss Reba says. Sort of all. Nothing is bad or sad, all are beautiful. It's like, what's his yes. name? What was it he used to say? Happy accidents. Yes. And the other, the other thing that's fun to do is... I think it was Bob like, Ross said that, wasn't it? Yeah, happy like, accident. Like There's no such thing as a mistake I, I as a happy accident. I didn't spend as much time and give you as much detail on here as I wanted to, and I apologize for that. But, um, like, you can mm. paint over things or color again, and what's there's... It? Becca's asking, they just bought the pink soap for brushes. Do you use anything specific? No. If you're cleaning them um, straight away, I think the water works. Yeah, is I, if you leave them for any length of time, like especially acrylics, we used to have a problem with, when we were teaching people with yeah, acrylics. acrylics. If you left those and they dry, you had to get brush cleaner for that. What time are we at, babe? Uh, 50, well, I don't know. It's 57 on my okay. watch. I don't. So I'm going to uh, end our little 58 YouTube. 58 on the... I'm going to end our little YouTube by saying <clears throat> thank you to everybody. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube and come back for this. Thanks for being